come for my knee slice here, I start to come through straight away exactly, my partner locks his legs like that, and I can't get my foot out, okay? And it's really annoying here, especially if I lose the underhook. If I, if I partner this underhook on me, I'm in, I'm in big trouble here, okay? So let's say, in this case, let's say I've done this here, I've got my arm through, and then from here my partner's grabbed, okay? So I've still got my underhook here, okay? I just want to Yes, I so my partner, when, when, your, when your partner grabs, I don't want you to do like a half grab. Some, some people I've seen, they, they, they expect you to do a half grab. You're not doing a half grab here. You're squeezing your knees together and then crossing your feet. Okay, there's a difference. So if you watch me, I'm not doing this because there's too much space here. You're going to just grab your partner's knee and then do this. Okay, that's how really you're going to get it. Okay. So from here, what, what a lot of people do is they'll use this top foot to push this off. But I find that it works, but sometimes it's a bit awkward. Okay, and there's other things we can do here before we start trying to kick this foot off, okay? In this case, I would get a high underhook before we had it real low, because that's um, where we can stay low. But right now, since I'm, I'm gonna be worried about him getting an underhook or him trying to, um, I don't know, like try and sweep me, I like to be a bit higher up here, okay? As well, I need more space, because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use our butt to open our partner's legs here, okay? So from here, I'm not gonna push. I'm gonna slide my knee towards the right and drop my left hip down to the mat like this. I'm almost like, facing away from my partner here, okay? Now, from here, I'm gonna use my right butt cheek in to pry my partner's legs open, okay? So there's two things will either happen here. I'll either be able to pry that top leg a little bit and pull my leg out, or what's gonna happen is, right now, if I, if I don't have my butt there, his feet he follow my foot, yeah? But if I sit down here, now he can't follow me, and I can slowly start to pull my leg out and escape. And from here, straight away again, walk my hips back, I don't wanna get stuck in that half down again, to finish inside, okay? So for me, this is like like super great. I use this all the time regularly in rolling. Um, I come here to my knee slice, I go for my underhook, and my partner locks his feet together, okay? High underhook here. I'd, um, I don't wanna be too low here, because like before I could stay low from the position I was in, but right now, since he's got my leg here, I can't bring my butt any further back. If I keep this low, I end up sitting upright, he's gonna get an underhook on me, okay? That's why from here, I'm posting my hands forward and getting this under Now it's hard for me to pummel that in. From here, really important, the way I get my butt down is I slide my knee to the right, so my left hip comes to the mat. Now I'm more spacing away from my partner. I'm gonna use my butt to pry open the legs, okay? Now if I can't get, out, get it with this, that's when I'm gonna start to try and kick my partner's leg. Now obviously here, it's too awkward to kick, kick with my foot, so I'm just gonna use my hamstring. One, two, three, four, five, as many as it takes. I'm gonna slowly, inch by inch, get my leg out. Like, you know, a lot of time you just, you can't just pull something out. You do it like a few times, just like that. And then walk your hips back and escape. Even if I didn't get my butt down here, let's say I, I, I just get to this position, like I don't wanna get bring my, my knees to the side. I will even from here, use my hamstring or my foot, okay? But from this position, I've slid down, hip comes to the mat. I'm gonna use my butt first of all. I'll try and bring, um, I'll try and bring my butt cheek on the inside of his thigh and push up into the leg like that. I'm not pushing back, yeah? I come on the inside and up like that for a split second to get my knee out. Or if I can't do that, I'll just block his leg from following me and try and slowly pull my foot out a little bit harder. Or I'm gonna use my hamstring on the top knee and slowly bump it out and pass, okay? So, one, two, Three, four, option one, pry it open. Option two, I'm here, just, uh, it's pretty much the same, I'm just trying to pull my leg out more. And then option three, butt still down, using my hamstring to slowly bump that open and pass. Does that make sense? Let's go. 